Hi, my name is Greg Davis with SD Microelectronics with the microcontroller microprocessor product line. Today we're demonstrating two new additions to the STM32 family in the STM32 G4. The G4 is an extension and evolution to the STM32 F3 series where we've taken the performance of the Cortex M4 to 170 megahertz. We've added a mathematical accelerators for accelerating trigonomic functions for complex waveform generation. We've improved the power consumption and we've added or a couple memories for enhanced cache performance. The rich peripherals that were found on the F3 have also evolved and we've kept that high resolution timer and enhanced it. So we picosecond resolutions timer. We've added USB PD peripheral. Uh, the Phi is available now for USB PD applications and we've also added a new peripheral CAN FD. We've improved the clock accuracy to 1% on this device so we can truly have a single chip operation. The STM32 G4 is a standard STM32 from a connectivity standpoint, of course with the addition of the CAN FD controller and the rich analog peripherals that have been enhanced in this device. The product portfolio is, comes in a th from 32 pins to 128 pins, flash densities from 32K to 512K. The STM32 G0 is an evolution of the STM32 F0 product line with many significant enhancements but summarized in three bullets. The STM32 G0 is an evolution to the STM32 F0 with an enhanced performance of 64 MHz and a Cortex M0+. Plus. We've taken the opportunity to reduce the number of VDD VSS pairs to allow the user to have more I.O. in a given package size. The, the robustness of the silicon has been enhanced such that we have l lower electromagnetic susceptibility for EMC clock monitoring with two watchdogs and error correction on our flash. The STM32 G0 is of course supported in STM32 Cube MX tool, configuration tool, and supported fully in the Cube Howl and the lower, lower layer Howl. Looking at the block diagram in the STM32 G0, we see it's a standard full-featured STM32 with standard peripherals. New peripherals to this product line are the USB PD power delivery Phi. So this is very suitable for USB PD type C applications. We have two SPI ports, four UARTs, one low power UART, and two I2C ports on this device. And of course, with the less ground and rail, that user IO is more flexible on this device. The products highlighted in the center here are the products that are fully available now from us with availability of the lower flash densities which do not feature USB PD support will be available in July of 2019. Of course, the extension all the way to 512K will be available in the first half of 2020. Of course, the G0 and the G4 have full support of the STM32's ecosystem and hardware support tools. With this, we have motor control to, uh, SDKs with a software package in our MC SDK, which is a software HAL library and support for motor control workbench, it's a graphical configuration tool to profile your motor, configure your motors and get your application up and running quickly. And a P-Nucleo kit where we have power boards stacked on top of our standard Nucleo boards that you can interchange with higher power modules for higher power applications. For more information, go to st.com. Have a great day.